Have you looked at the back of a graphics card lately? The outputs are all pretty much the same. You got your display port, you got your HDMI. In some cases, you'll still find a DVI kicking around. And then Nvidia in particular has this little VR link connector, a USB type C that they use for VR, which is kind of cool. AMD, much of the same, no DVI, no VR link, no big deal. Well, that's boring. What if there was something totally different? <laughs> well, there is. This is a graphics card from a company I had never heard before called Advoli. And the Advoli TA6 is a video card unlike any. Got your PCI Express 16X, it's got your power connector, it's got your boom! Six ethernet jacks. Madrina's Coffee blends specialty cold brew coffees into 15 ounce grab and go cans for your convenience. Check them out and use offer code Linus to save 40% at the link below. So this thing can support six displays running at 4K 30 Hertz at the same time. How the bloody hell are they doing this? Anthony, you did the prep for this. Sure did. It's Anthony, folks. So this is a weird freaking card. Like this entire portion of the PCB seems to be dedicated to these HD base T certified outputs. And we'll get into that in a little bit more detail later. Back here, we've got a couple of three and a half millimeter jacks. Mm -hmm. What are these for? Those are for infrared pass through. So you can have infrared in and infrared out, as well as our RS-232 serial. Oh, interesting. So, so you can use a remote and have it pass yeah. through to something It's actually else. got IR blasters here. <laughs> cool, all right. Now the graphics card itself is actually not here, or at least it's not integrated onto this output board. So MXM is a laptop graphics card form factor that's typically used in like gaming notebooks, but then they've gone and they've put this Radeon card in it that isn't something I'd ever even heard before. Like I assumed this was gonna be an RX something or other, but instead it's a, what was it again? It's actually a uh, Radeon integrated embedded E9550. So this has so far raised more questions than it has answered. My understanding is this is running off of it right now. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. We've got right. two of these. Do you wanna show me how this cable run works? So it's just this single ethernet cable that comes from the card. From there, we're going HDMI straight into this monitor. Okay, and then should I be able to tell any difference from, from using this at all? Not really. So then Anthony, how much of a delay is there if I just pop this ethernet cable out and then like pop it back One, in? Two, about two and a half seconds. So it's about the same as what a HDMI would be. So that six pin adapter that goes in is taking care of power, not just for the GPU, but also for the power that has to be sent to these adapters that take that HD base T signal and turn it into something that a display can understand. Now you can do 10 gigabit ethernet networking at up to 100 meters if you've got high enough quality cabling. And HD base T can actually do the same thing. So Advoli sent us over 600 meters of what has to be the most badass what is this, like Cat 7? Like shielded Cat 7 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Cat 7. I mean, look at these connectors on the end. These are unreal. This is solid core cabling. Nice. And I guess it's armored in case some idiot drops the spool on top of it. It's actually kind of funny. Uh, when you look at the manual, it says, read the full installation guide before beginning. It can be found at advoli.com slash TA6 performance. Why? you will make mistakes and you need to read the warnings and safety related items. <laughs> That's literally what's written here. So the first thing I need to do is plug all of these into the back of the GPU, correct? I mean, sure, if you want to. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so then now the plan is for me to drag, I don't know, 80 pounds of copper. Like as far as you can go and then we can plug in a monitor and see what it looks like. I won't be able to see it from there though because I need an output here. Don't mind me, I'm just, you know, plugging in my monitor. Gentlemen. 
No, I'm good. Where are you going? Outside. You know, when we said this channel's about to get heavy, this is exactly what we had in mind. Lots and lots of copper. Why? I'm doing this for you. No, I got this. I'm close. I can smell it. You can smell it. You did it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Right. Ouch. Uh. We're close. So there's two power leads outside. Yeah. And we should have five here. And do we have a remote for this? Uh, oh man, it's getting dark. This is really annoying. All we had to do was not take that roundabout route through the editing den. And we'd be inside right now doing this. <laughs> hey, at least we cleverly planned ahead and we're going to use the, uh, the quad input monitor from LG. That thing has come in handy for so many projects like this. We're like, we need to output to a bunch of displays, but we don't actually want to carry a bunch of monitors around. <laughs> Let's start with two. So this is the one that should be mirroring the output from Anthony's computer inside. Okay, I'm going to go check again. Okay, Anthony, I got an output. On all of them? Uh, no, I only have one plugged in so far, but it's the cloned one. Okay, cool. It's not bad at all. Do you mind turning the volume down a bit? I can't hear myself over myself. Like, this looks really good. Dang. All right, let's go get the other display. Here we go. Oh. And there it is. That's crazy town. Hey, Anthony, is it possible to put videos on all of them? Uh, yeah. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, now maximize the first one. You wanna come check it out? You read my mind. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this looks really good. Yeah, and it's over 100 meters. Like that's actually 100 meters plus like six or 10 feet for each of these cables. And they've apparently got some improvements in the pipeline. So right now these are using, uh, what, what was it? Uh, they call it power over cable. Power over cable, but PoE is more of the like industry standard that would allow better interoperability with other equipment. And they're gonna have a PoE version of it coming down the line. Hey! Uh... Yeah. So in terms of how this works then, basically, unlike most of the consumer grade in-home streaming solutions where you can do display over ethernet that we've explored in the past, this is using a 10 gig link rather than a one gigabit link. And the thing is that even with Steam in-home streaming, you can absolutely run it over a 10 gigabit switch with a 10 gigabit network card but because of the way that it is designed, it will not make use of all that extra bandwidth you have available. So this is, what, what was it you said, Anthony? Eight point? Something like that, depending on the uh, exact resolution. Uh, 4K 30 or 4K 60 at 420. Even though you don't have as much bandwidth as HDMI, as long as you limit some of your settings, be it resolution, be it refresh rate, or be it bit depth, you can get something that to my eye is not noticeably compressed over an ethernet cable. Pretty freaking sick.
What can I say about the OnePlus 6T? Oxygen OS is awesome. It's got an underscreen fingerprint reader, which is super responsive. It's got a Snapdragon 845 processor and up to eight gigs of RAM with rear 16 plus 20 megapixel dual cameras. Storage starts at 128 gigs for the base model and it's 3,700 milliamp hour battery gives you up to a day and a half of full use with built-in fast charge. And the best part about it is you can win one of two in our giveaway at the link in the video description. Woo! Free OnePlus? Who would say no? I wouldn't. Brandon wouldn't. Definitely not. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which is definitely worth a join.